In this deep dive insider learning, we're really gonna deep dive. So let's discuss how you can get the maximum valuation for your property so you can extract the maximum amount of finance that can work for you. So here's a required legal disclaimer. I'm a property investor and developer and everything I'm sharing with you is from our grounding in terms of what we're doing. However, please make sure you check in with an FCA regulated mortgage broker and confirm what you're actually going to be doing with your finances. That's really important. This works extremely well when you're actually refinancing and this is what we're discussing here right now. Now, in order to understand this, we need to understand there are three different levels of your pricing when it comes to valuation on how you should think of this. Now, we tend to operate from three figures. So the like, intend and must. Let me explain what that means. So your like figure is the figure that you would like your value to come along for your revaluation, for your refinancing to get the best price possible. The second figure is the intend valuation. The intend valuation is the figure that you're putting on there, which is market accepted. It's an acceptable figure where there are many comparables for that particular figure. The third one is a must valuation. The must valuation is a minimum that you will accept as a figure uh, that you're putting down as the valuation for that property. And that's the third figure that you need. Now let's discuss the like price. So your like price is the most optimistic price. And how do you arrive at the most optimistic price? Well, you arrive at the most optimistic price by checking on sold comparables. And you can use tools like Rightmove, for example. You go into Rightmove, you check properties that have sold. Now, what this is, is actually land registry data. And in there, there will be a flexibility, of course, and you find prices in that area that have sold recently with prices that are lower and there are prices that are higher. So what you can simply do is look at the higher price comparables for a like for like property and add another 5% on top of that. And that is becoming your like price. Now your like price, the reason we're doing it like this is that on your mortgage application, you can extend by another 5%. Now, if you extend too far and you go in with another price point where you're saying your property is worth another 20% more or so more, Values will look at that and they'll frown upon it in my experience. And what that means is they will typically downvalue your property quite heavily, heavily. So it's a bit of a penalty they impose on you for putting on a valuation that is just too high. So if you keep it within that 5% realm, what you've actually done is you have put into the mind of the valuer a higher value figure, but yet at the same time, it's a realistic optimistic figure because it's like I say, a further 5% stretch from the real comparables that are out there, which are already at the top of the, uh, the figures. Hope I'm making sense here. And that's the figure that we put and you can put on your application form. Now, when the valuer sees that and they see that you, okay, you put in a higher figure, but it's a realistic figure, they are more likely to actually extend to that figure. Now, where does the intend figure come into uh, play? Well, the intend figure comes into play because this is not the figure that you put on the application, but this is the figure that you're expecting the valuer to actually down value to. Yeah. So you've already put in the like figure, just to, for clarity, on the application, but the intend figure is what you're expecting them to value for. So they might slightly down value, but actually it was what you was expecting anyway, which is this intend value. Now let's move forward and discuss the third one, uh, the must figure. And the must figure is that figure where you are financially accepting what the valuation is going to be, where you can refinance at that point. And if that must figure is not reached, then it's about putting in another application, another mortgage application. You can decide um, to do that. That is your choice. And you will find that different lenders and different values will value surprisingly completely different valuations. Someone will come in and value extremely low. Other person will come in and they'll value fairly high. So if you're not reaching that must figure, you can take that little bit of a drastic action to be fair, to go in and do the application again. So the like intent and must become extremely valuable. So I hope you've enjoyed all of this. I hope you continue to move forward and use property as an asset class. And remember we are here at Premier to help you as little or as much as you would like. My name is Cameron Devady. I really hope you enjoyed these.